RIT, one of four teams headed to the NCAA Hockey East region in Albany this Saturday. Tigers face Topsy Quinnipiac at 4 o'clock, followed by UMass Lowell and Yale. The winners play Sunday for a spot in the Frozen Four, of course. RIT with its final practice before heading out to Albany. The Tigers downplaying their NCAA East region matchup with top C Quinnipiac. On paper, we're going to be the underdog no matter what. We're the 16th seed, they're the one seed. And people are going to say that all the pressure is on Quinnipiac, but at the same time, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves, and we're not just going there to play a hockey game. We, we're going there to win, and that's the bottom line. It doesn't really matter, one seed, two seed, 16 seed, you know, just, just another game out there, you know. Those are just 23 guys, just like our 23 guys, and we're just going to go in battle, and uh, we're going to work hard and try to win. Nice feed. Quick shot by Karen. He scores. All right, again, that game is at 4 o'clock on Saturday. Meantime, RIT head coach Wayne Wilson with a rooting interest in Yale. His son, Stu, senior forward with the Bulldogs and is second on the team in scoring. I'm excited that he's there for a lot of reasons that, uh, as a coach, I don't get to watch him play. It just sounds weird. I, I coach hockey. He plays you know, I see him on uh, video uh, afterwards, you know, and uh, we both have big obstacles, but, you know, he's a senior now, so he's going to play his last game somewhere here along, you know, he's one of these next four games, one of them is going to be his last game. I'll be able to watch his last uh, college hockey games and maybe his last hockey games in general, which is uh, kind of neat. I never thought that was going to happen. I missed out on senior night and all those things that families get to partake, so that, that is kind of special that way, and uh, so I look forward to that. Kind of a cool little side story there if Wayne Wilson coaches against his son Stu. Um, but RIT has to get by the top seed Quinnipiac first, PD, and they're 2 0 against the top seeds in the tournament. So Tiger's looking pretty good. Well, 2 0 in the top seed in the tournament means nothing because this is a whole new game, Kevin. <laughs> Oh, really? But the the fact of the matter is, is that... History is on their side. You know, I hate the cliche saying anybody can win on any <laughs> given day. But here's the thing. This is a one-game showdown. Right. And if Quinnipiac doesn't show up with their best, uh, and RIT just happens to show up with their best and get a couple good bounces, you never know. There could be a huge upset um, on the horizon. But, you, you know, I think... One of these are one of those moments where you know you try to say you know you don't play scared or you can't worry about who the other team is. Absolutely, you know who the other team is, and you better worry about who the other team is because the other team is a lot better than you are. But that doesn't mean that they can beat you. So they just got to go out. Coach has got to make sure that he's got his players ready and his his uh, his winning system ready to rock. Wayne Wilson always seems to have his guys ready for the postseason.